Welcome to the A to Z of golf. I'm Simon Dyson. We've come up with 26 videos for your golf. Let's jump into the first one. Right, so today's video in the A to Z of golf is the letter L. So today we're gonna to talk about lead wrist. So lead wrist, if you're a right-handed golfer, that is your left hand. If you're a left-handed golfer, it's your right hand. This is the one that controls the trajectory, it controls the spin, it controls the direction. Your right hand is obviously for the power and your left hand is so important because this is leading the shot. So you see golfers like Jordan Spieth, why they're so good, they're, he's actually left-handed. So he's got most of his strength in his lead wrist. So that's why he's so good. Phil Mickelson is exactly the same. He plays golf left-handed, but his lead wrist, his, he is right-handed. So again, you've got so much control over what you're doing. So I would honestly say, try and hit some shots with that lead wrist, strengthen it up so that you've got that little bit more control. Me personally, I had wrist surgery on my lead wrist, so mine's pretty weak, so I have to do a lot. I have to do a lot of practice with that lead wrist because mine is so weak. But like I said, it controls trajectory. If you can get that lead wrist ahead of the ball, you're gonna hit it low. If you can stop that lead wrist at impact, you're gonna hit it a lot higher. You're just gonna have way more control. So I'm just gonna hit a couple of shots with my lead wrist. I've got nothing, there's no power there whatsoever. This is just all about guidance. So again, hit another shot. So that's not too bad. I've practiced quite a bit with that since I came back from my uh, wrist surgery. But it is so important for you, even just on a chipping green, hit some chips with your lead wrist, hit them low, hit them high, and you'll learn so much more about how you're swinging the club by just hitting shots with that lead wrist, but it's a really good drill. 